Hello, this is Ali Pordiali from Cookie.com. This is a new video to show you how you can make scroll sensitive animation in Adobe Muse using the scroll motion effect. In this one, when I'm scrolling down, you can see that this little guy is shrinking the shape. And in this one, when I'm scrolling down, you can see that this little guy is expanding the shape. Now let's go back to Muse and start from scratch. Let's make a new project. Before we make a new project, let's let me show you the trick. This is not a single shape. These are two different shapes. This one moves to the right because this is shrinking, and this one moves to the left. So when you see this, when you are when you're watching this, when you preview this in browser you think this is a single shape and it's getting shrinked now let's go to file new site change the height 5000 because this is a scroll motion project and turn the fill off stroke off and let's just start with a new rectangle Turn the stroke off and let's make it a little different from the other one, the ones that I just showed you. And give it round corners and change the value to 100. Okay. Now, as I told you, we need two shapes with the same size and with the same color. So we go to edit, duplicate we get a new shape with the same size and with the same color and we need these round corners to the right side so turn them on here and turn them off here let's do the shrinking so when we are doing the shrinking this one should go to the left and this one should go to the right in order to do that, we select both of them. Let's go to the scroll effects panel and turn the scroll motion on. These two shapes both must have the same value for the key position in the scroll effects panel in the scroll motion, and which means that both of these shapes will act the same when these two handles hit the top of the page and before the handle hit the top as well so the key position number should be the same and the motion after key uh, the motion after key should be 1 and 0 1 to up and 0 to left and right which means that when these two handles hit the top we want them to stay exactly where they are and we don't want them to go left and right but we want them to go up with the normal speed of browser which is 1 and we are working on the motion before key then so select the right one this one this is expanding I guess yeah okay for the for the right one we need this shape to go to the right because it will be look like this so it moves to the right and give it a speed of 0 0.2 to the right and this one give it a speed of 0 0.2 but to the left because this one moves like this from right to left now one more thing select both in motion before key we need them to move up with the normal speed 1 so they move up with the normal speed 1 this one before the handle hits the top move right with the speed of 0 0.2 and after the handle hits the top it does the normal movement which is 1 to the top one w w with the speed of 1 going up and it's not going to the left and right and this one it goes up with the normal speed 1 with the speed of 0 0.2 goes to the left here and after the handle hits the top it does the normal movement 
which is one zero so when I publish the browser I can see that it's getting expanded as I'm scrolling down that was pretty easy and for the next one which is shrinking so shrinking so we need it to be like this we need it to start like this and end up like this so as I told you it needs to be exactly the way that you want it to be I'm not sure if I told you that when you're applying this effect when you're doing this trick you need to have your shapes exactly the way that they, that they should be at the end when I say at the end I mean at the top and the handles at the top here you see these handles are here so when I'm scrolling down and when they hit the top it's not moving anymore these two shapes are not moving anymore so we need them to be like this at the end for example but we need this shape to start from here and we need this shape to start from here for example and getting shrinked so let's undo this and select the right one this one instead of going to the right should go to the left and this one instead of going to the left should go to the right and now when I publish the browser and I scroll down it's getting shrinked you can apply this trick to more complicated shapes to texts and to a lot of different things the only thing that you need to remember is that you need to have both shapes at the same size at the same color you need to have them the way that you want them to be at the end when the handles at the top and that would be it that's all the trick and I also added these two hands here this one with the same values that we have for this one on the scroll motion effect and this one with the same values that we have for this shape and the scroll motion effect so let me copy these two right click copy go back to the one that we just made paste them here and let's put this one here and put this one here so these two shapes that we have here the key position value is 483 so we change these two to 483 the values for the key position should be the same for all these shapes so they will act um, consistently so uh, the speed for this one is 1 to the top 0 0.2 to the left so for this one 1 to the top 0 0.2 to the left and for this one 1 to the top and 0 0.2 to the right now let's preview the page in browser so when I'm scrolling down these two hands are shrinking this shape okay I hope you enjoyed watching this video and good luck with your project